we're all familiar with ice like this and ice like this. But the ice that falls from the sky during the colder months can be a bit confusing. I'm going to start with ice pellets, those hard little balls of ice that bounce when they hit the ground. You know, like a pellet. They start off as snow way up high in the atmosphere, but as they fall, they collide with a warm layer of air and melt just a little bit. But before long, they are falling through a cold layer of air and freeze up, turning into a solid piece of ice just before smacking the ground. Or worse, you. Fun fact, ice pellets are known as sleet in the US. Gravel might be considered the softer cousin of hail, but hail is a summer phenomenon, so it can sit this one out. <clears throat> Gravel looks like a tiny little snowball or piece of styrofoam and occurs during a cold convective storm. Gropple happens when snow is falling and suddenly teams up with super cooled water droplets. Those water droplets hang on for the ride all the way to the surface, forming a soft, fluffy ball of ice. Gropple will easily crush in your fingers, whereas ice pellets are solid. Remember how much Indiana Jones hates snakes in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah, that's how I feel about freezing rain. It's that sneaky rain that creates a coating of ice on surfaces like roads and sidewalks. Here's what happens. The snow is coming down but doesn't hit any cold layer of air for a very long time. In fact, it hits a warm layer of air and turns to rain. But there's cold air waiting close to the ground and that rain will freeze as soon as it hits the surface. So you may think it's regular old rain, but it's far more sinister. So to recap, ice pellets are hard balls of ice. Gropple is a soft white ball of ice. And freezing rain will coat your windshield and your driveway in a sheet of ice.